Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This video isn't going to be so much about Corel as far as it is about lasering. A while back, this is a steel turtle with a, a uh, curly maple maybe uh, backing. And I vectored these lines instead of engraved them. Because this would have probably taken 30 minutes or more to engrave. So on a scrap piece of wood this morning, I engraved this. And that's probably, it's the next biggest line up from a hairline. I think it's 0 0.005 line. Um, my laser's out in the shop and I can't really check. And this one's not hooked up to a printer. But it's the, the thinnest line you can, you can actually engrave besides the hairline. This is a hairline. This one was engraved at 50 speed, 100 power, and it took 4 minutes and 38 seconds. This one was vectored at 50 speed, 100 power, and only took 19 seconds. Both these are with autofocus on, so this time is probably only about 14 or 15 seconds to, to vector this. Now, you need to run some tests before you do it on your real work to make sure you don't cut through all through the wood, but 50 speeds pretty fast and 100 power. And it's actually, you know, to me, it's a better line. Not the best picture here, but they're almost the same thickness. It's just, uh, this one's actually a little bit deeper. Now, to achieve this, I use the exact same vector 100 speed or 50 speed at 100 power it took 19 seconds, but I moved the focus up about three eighths. I did not measure it, but about three eighths of an inch. And you've got a much thicker engraved, or it looks like it's been engraved. So if you're doing a job similar to this, you could use your vector instead of uh, rastering or engraving it in. Look at the difference in the speed. I mean, that's over four minutes longer to run that 19 second job. Anyway, so just do some tests. Make sure you don't cut all the way through your wood. And I think this will help you on some projects. Thanks for watching. I hope that helped.